power of x minus 5 equals 5 to the power of 3x. So different bases, they're not really, they don't really talk to each other very well, 15 and 5, they're not powers of each other. So we're going to have to pull out the big, the big guns here, we're going to have to do some logarithms. So first stage is I'm going to take the logarithm of both sides, I'm going to use ln to save on writing here. So I'm going to take ln of 15 to the x minus 5 equals ln of 5 to the power of 3x. Now according to one of the logarithm rules, we can take those exponents, those powers, and pull them out in front. So over here, this is going to be an x minus 5 times an ln of 15, and this side is going to be a 3x times an ln of 5. Okay, next I'm going to use a distributive property on the left, so I'd get x ln 15 minus 5 ln 15 equals 3x ln 5. Most common mistake I see with these kind of problems, by the way, is trying to do more than logarithms allow you to. There's really only three rules plus the change of base. So don't try to, don't overthink it. Don't do things that are uh, rules for other objects like uh, distributive properties or such. Okay, now I'm going to isolate the x. So I'm going to take the x on the left and I'm going to pull it over to the right hand side by subtracting x ln 15 from both sides, minus x ln 15. So when I do that, what's left over? Well on the left we have negative 5 ln 15 and on the right we have 3x ln 5 minus x ln 15. So as I get ready to do the next stage here, I'm going to factor out that common x. Right? There's an x that's common right there and right there. So we end up getting negative 5 ln of 15 equals that common x, which can be pulled out in front, leaving me with a 3 and an ln of 5 and uh, just a single minus of an ln of 15. Okay, so as painful as that looks, we're actually done now because all we have to do is divide both sides to isolate the x by 3ln5 minus ln15, right? Not a particularly pretty number, but a number all the same, right? We're not going to be racist against numbers here. So what do we end up getting? x equals negative 5ln15 over 3ln5 minus ln of 15. And that should be the final answer. So why don't you try one on your own here? Uh, these have quite a few steps to them, but that's a final answer. It's an exact answer. Try doing this one and see if you can get the answer by the end. So assuming you gave it a good shot here, let's try to do it together. <clears throat> we have negative, uh, sorry, let's clear that and take an ln of both sides. So we get ln of 3 to the negative x plus 2 equals ln of 5 to the 2x minus 1. Pull the exponent, negative x plus 2 ln 3 equals 2x minus 1 ln 5. Distributive property, negative x ln 3 plus 2 ln 3 equals 2x ln5 minus one copy of ln5. And now move the x's to one side and the non-x's to the other side. So in this case, I'm going to add x ln3, add x ln3. But I'm also going to add the ln5, so I'm moving all the non-x's to the other side. So what remains after doing that? Well, on the left, it looks like a 2 ln 3 plus ln 5. And on the right, it looks like a 2x ln 5 plus an x ln 3. So no stress, there's the x that's common on this right-hand side. So as I move over into the next half over here, I'm going to have 2 ln 3 plus ln 5 equals the x factored out to 2 ln 5 plus ln 3 
And so as I divide by that stuff that I don't want, I can see that my final answer is coming out to be x equals 2ln3 plus ln5 over 2ln5 plus ln of 3. And that's my final answer.